Here's the FPS boost I achieved after applying these registry tweaks. In today's video, I'll walk you through the best Windows registry settings to maximize performance on both low-end and high-end PCs. Unlock every bit of power from your system and get the smoothest gameplay possible. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polar to use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear a Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Before applying the tweaks manually, I want to inform you that if you want to save time, you can simply download the registry tweaks pack from my official website. To support the channel and website, there are some ads on the site. Just skip them and make sure to download the actual RAR file. Alternatively, you can also download it directly from our Discord server. Once downloaded, open the folder and navigate to the registry folder. Double click each registry file one by one to apply the settings quickly. The advantage of this pack is that if you ever want to revert any registry tweak to the Windows default, you can use the revert files provided in the revert folder. Just double click each file, just like before. In addition, I've included a text file that contains all the necessary commands for easy copy and paste in the registry editor. This will allow you to directly navigate to the exact folder where you need to apply the tweaks. So download the pack now and make the process easy. So guys, now we will apply these registry tweaks manually. First, go to the search bar and type registry editor, then open it as administrator. In the first step, we will disable Windows Cortana. Disabling Cortana helps improve system performance by freeing up CPU and RAM, making your PC run faster. It also enhances privacy by preventing data collection and background tracking. Removing Cortana reduces unnecessary background processes, improving overall responsiveness. Additionally, it streamlines Windows search, making it more efficient and less intrusive. Copy the first path and paste here, then hit Enter, Locate and double-click on Allow Cortana in the panel. Change the value data to zero Click OK to save the changes. In the next step, we will disable automatic updates. Disabling automatic updates prevents Windows from installing updates without user control, which can help reduce unwanted restarts and potential performance issues. It also saves bandwidth, especially on limited internet connections. Additionally, updates sometimes introduce bugs or compatibility issues, so disabling them allows users to install updates manually when needed. Copy the next path and paste here, then hit Enter, Locate and double-click on No Auto Update in the panel. Change the value data to 1. Click OK to save the changes. In the next step, we will speed up menu animations. Speeding up menu animations makes Windows feel more responsive by reducing delays in opening and closing menus. This improves the overall user experience, especially on low-end PCs. It also reduces system lag and enhances workflow efficiency by making interactions feel smoother and faster. Copy the next path and paste here, then hit Enter, Locate and double-click on Menu Show Delay in the panel. Change the value data to 100. Click OK to save the changes. In the next registry tweak we're going to adjust is Disable Power Throttling. Windows automatically throttles CPU power in different situations to save energy. While this is more relevant for laptops, it can also affect desktop users depending on power settings. This can be really bad for gaming because it doesn't just impact CPU performance. It can also slow down the GPU. If the GPU runs faster than the CPU, it can create a bottleneck, negatively affecting overall performance. To prevent this, you can disable power throttling in the registry. Here's how. Copy the first path and paste it here, then hit enter. Now, in the power throttling key, you'll find a power throttling off entry in the right panel. Open it and change its value to 1. If the entry doesn't exist, create a new DW word, 32-bit value, name it power throttling off and set its value to 1. Next, turn off network throttling. Windows has a built-in mechanism to throttle the network under certain conditions. While it mainly affects non-media content, it can also impact online gaming, leading to high ping and lag spikes. To prevent any interference with your gameplay, it's best to disable this feature. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit Enter. Now, find network throttling. Index, double-click it, and set its value to 8 times F. 
If you notice any issues with network usage for background processes after this change, you can always revert the value back to 10. Optimize TCP for gaming. Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, governs how computers establish connections and reliably exchange data over networks. Optimizing TCP improves bandwidth usage, lowers latency, and stabilizes your connection. Crucial for online gaming. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, in the right column, you'll find multiple entries to adjust for TCP optimization. First, double click on default TTL and set the value to 64, then click OK. Then find the global max TCP window size, double click on it and set the value to 65535 and hit OK. Now scroll down and find TCP1323 opts, double click on it and set the value to 1, then click OK to save. Now double click on TCP max dupax, double click on it and set its value to 2, then hit OK. Now double click on TCP timed wait delay, set it to decimal and set its value to 30, then click OK. Next disable CPU, core parking. When the CPU load is low, Windows can disable certain CPU cores to save power and reduce heat. However, for gaming, turning off this feature ensures better performance by keeping all CPU cores active. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, find attributes and set its value to zero. Next, prioritize games. In the registry, you can instruct Windows to prioritize games when allocating CPU and GPU resources. This helps maintain smooth performance, reduces stutters, and ensures the game gets the highest priority over other background processes. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, start by finding affinity and change the value data to F. Set the base to hexadecimal and hit OK. Next, go to background only and set it to false, then hit OK. Find GPU priority and change the value data to E. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. For priority, change the value data to 6 and click OK. Next, go to scheduling category, modify it and set the value to high. For SFIO priority, set it to high and click OK. Next, decrease maximum pre-rendered frames. If your CPU is powerful enough for gaming, reducing the maximum pre-rendered frames can help minimize input latency. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, find max pre-rendered frames, double click it and change its value to one, meaning only one frame will be pre-rendered at a time. Next, increase system. Responsiveness. Windows balances CPU usage between foreground tasks, like games and background processes. By default, 20% of CPU resources are reserved for background tasks. Lowering this value improves gaming performance. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, select decimal, then change the value of system responsiveness to 10. Next, disable. Fast startup. Fast startup helps Windows boot faster, but prevents the system from fully shutting down. Instead, it logs out users, closes applications, and puts the system into a hibernation-like state before powering off. Disabling it ensures a proper restart, which can help resolve performance issues. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, find hyperboot enabled, double click it, change the value data to one, then click OK. Next, increase the CPU priority of a game. While there are multiple ways to adjust CPU priority, the Win32 Priority Separation Registry key provides more precise control over priority and latency. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, find Win32 Priority. Separation, double click it and set its value to 26. This ensures the lowest latency, faster information processing, and the highest CPU priority when the game is in focus. Next, prioritize game traffic. By default, Windows reserves a portion of your network bandwidth for system activities. If your network bandwidth is limited, Windows may prioritize its own processes over your games. To prevent this and ensure maximum network performance for gaming, follow these steps. Copy the next path, paste it here, then hit enter. Now, find non-best effort. Limit, double click it, and set its value to zero. That's it guys. If you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more performance boosting tips. If you have any questions or need further help, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.